Welcome everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 12, at least for the moment, where today I want to talk about my graphics settings. I'm getting this asked over and over again that what is my graphics settings? Your frames are so good. Can you share your graphics settings for both of your sims? I'm going to do that today. We start with X-Plane 12. But before I get to that, keep in mind that the frames that I get is a combination of the hardware that I use and my settings. Now I put my system specs in the video description of every video that I make. So if you want to know more about that, you have to check that out. In short, I have a 13700K and an RTX 4080 and some DDR5 5600 RAM. Yeah, we are currently at JFK, International Airport. We are in a tower view at the moment and uh, we have we look over the airport and I get like a 45 frames per second. You can see it's pretty okay. And yeah, let's check out the settings. Um, so where do I do that? I think here in the graphics. Okay. So this is this is the settings that I have. There isn't really a lot in X-Plane 12. So yeah, monitor full screen simulator. So I guess this is default monitor. So I guess this means they're using the Windows settings. And uh, yeah, that's what I use. I leave it at that. Uh, windshield effects forward 3D cockpit. No idea what else is there. Um, yeah, field of view, 80 degrees. I didn't change any of that. So I leave all that unchecked. Um, yes, full screen monitor, default monitor settings. This is all right, based font size. So this shouldn't impact the performance. Draw part, aircraft enable 3D vegetation, vegetation density high, world object density high, rendering distance medium. And this one is a little bit baffling to me because I don't really, I mean, if over there is New York, I can like see it. And it's perfectly fine. I don't know why I need more rendering distance than that. Like, I think it's on the edge of the visibility. You can see some buildings popping in and out. Yeah, uh, again, what else do we have in these settings? Um, world object density high, which density high, we already had that shadow quality maximum, although it doesn't really do much, in my opinion. Cloud quality maximum doesn't do any much as well. Texture quality maximum, I mean, occlusion, no idea what that is. Put it to ultra. Rendering your solution. Uh, this is the this is the FSR. I think this is some ATI upscaling rubbish. Then use that. Entropic quality is sixteen, and this is the most important slider in my opinion. Now we're having a uh, forty six um, yeah FPS now, and if I crank this up to full, you will see that it will impact <laughs> the frames massively. I think this is this is the thing that um, yeah. Probably a lot of people have cranked up and uh, then they're wondering why they have so bad FPS. Um, yeah, these are um, these settings here in, in X-Plane. Let's hop on over to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, then back here in New York, back at the JFK at uh, about the same position. I'm at the tower now and you can see the frames are about the same. Um, yeah, I am. Um, Added some traffic via FSLTL. And I also tried out, uh, by the way, this just flight MS traffic. And my clear recommendation is don't, don't use it. Don't spend your money on that. Um, FSLTL is better, it's more flexible. You can do more stuff and um, it's free. So, yeah. We wanted to talk about the settings. Now, the, um, the settings are a little bit more complex here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course. General options graphics. So, okay, then let's see. Full screen, that's clear. Then um, TAA, I think that's NVIDIA DLSS. No, TAA, this is what we're using. This is the best one, I think. Render scale, 100%. Yeah. AMD, everything sharpening, 100. No idea what it is. Um, no frame generation, no upscaling, no nothing. VSync is on. NVIDIA reflex, low latency, no idea what that is. So yeah, I leave it off. Frame rate limit, um, one hundred percent. Yeah, we're not getting there anyway. Direct DirectX eleven. Global rendering quality is custom now. It's custom. It's actually it's ultra. I just all I did was I um turned off the motion blur. No idea. I turned that off. Um, the rest is as you can see. No idea what that is. Mm, don't really care about that. Um, the rest is basically on ultra. Um, yeah. Objects of detail 190. Don't know why this isn't 200. And terrain level of detail. Okay, these are my settings. I uh, see you in the next video. Take care and uh, tschüss.